Hi everyone. So if you can see, I put on my new rib. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's really, really soft. So, start off by saying that. And number two, not to be too braggy, but my makeup still looks pretty darn good. <laughs> um, so uh, I was pondering some thoughts. So I'd like to share and then show you some goodies. So firstly, um, well, I was thinking that because I mentioned I got some bunchy Yankee t-shirts that I wasn't particularly fond of that came from Buddy's Small Lots. I'm sure everyone's heard of Big Lots, but Buddy's Small Lots is new to me. I don't know if it's like a chain or anything like that, but I'd love to go there. And I figured why not maybe, if possible, swap those t-shirts for something else, like a Jets or Packers, right? So there's there's that silver lining. And secondly, if you recall, earlier I was kind of like, had some negative things to say about the heating pad and it being like a Christmas gift. Well, I'll tell you something. My perspective on that has shifted. As I walked up the stairs, like my house is really weird, like you know how like heat rises? Well no, I'm not in my house. The upstairs is always cold, like when you're downstairs and as you're passing the stairs, like you can feel like this arctic blast coming down and it really hits you as you're walking up the stairs. In my room, and mine is particularly cold. My so is my bathroom, but it's a tad bit warmer. And you know what I hate in the winter time is climbing into a cold bed. So what I was doing was taking my heating pad, putting it on high, 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 high heat, laying it on my bed, and then I'd go about getting ready for bed because most of y'all know I don't really sleep. So, but by the time I was ready to actually get in bed to like watch TV or play on my phone or what have you, the bed was warm. And it really does help the moist heat with like your aches, pains, and all that, which I have like all the time. So feeling cold, I was really kind of like, you know what, I'm really happy to have this heating pad and I should not be complaining. Although I do get hot very easily, like I was cold upstairs, so hence I put on my new robe, but then when I came downstairs to try to continue to upload videos, um you know, the stinky old laptop restarted itself, so I'm just like trying to pick up where I thought I left off. If there's like, usually when you upload something, if you upload it again, it'll just say it got rejected because it was like a duplicate or something, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. But I'm now a little bit warmer, but I do have like technically a sweater on, so, <laughs> but that's okay. And then I was thinking about that like aromatherapy mister device and it does look kind of cool. Now I don't 100% sure where I'm going to put it. I do have this short little table in my bedroom and right now it's just cluttered so if I can declutter that and I was thinking I could put it on the opposite side from where I normally sleep um because there's a bunch of outlets on that wall so this way I can just plug it in it'll be on a little table, which I now realize there's probably a downside to that. I don't know if it's better to have like the moist heat that comes out of it closer to you while you sleep, but I figured as far as like the aroma goes, like I might get like a waft of the lavender from the other side of the bed as opposed to being like right up in my face. So even though it's like it's odd and I don't know, I'm hoping that I will really enjoy it. So I'm starting to twist things into a more positive perspective. I've broken in my boots here and I wore them out. I did have to change my socks because I had on those um, like ankle socks and they kept like falling off so I put on a new pair of socks I got for Christmas that are longer and um, I just think wearing boots is going to be like new for me because I'm like not used to wearing them. But, so, I do love them, as I'd mentioned, 
and it's just kind of funny because like I had boots on, my mom had boots on, my aunt might have, I don't know. <laughs> my uncle was talking about like, can women like not wear boots or like do all women have to wear boots because that seems to be like the thing, like you'll always see a lady in boots usually, it's kind of like a trend, I don't know. And I never like to really conform to anything, I just like to march to the beat of my own drum, but I don't really care. I something makes me happy, I'm going to go for it. So, that's all that jazz. And then I got a surprise. So, I work with hometown trainers. That is where my personal trainer comes from, from hometown trainers. And last Christmas, I got a Christmas present from them, and it was just a bag. It had a Christmas card in it. It had a hometown chain trainer's t-shirt, a little towel thing, and like just a random, um, I'm trying to show ya, I don't know, but a random like spire, oh, no, yeah, in fact, this is the one from last year, there's a little, yeah, it was this one, just like a plain old, Yield generic little like uh, um binder notepad booky thingy um it's so funny I'm just like there's usually one of these on this table somewhere and I wanted to show one and look like, it happens to be the one I got last year <laughs> so um yeah but this year, and I, honestly, it's kind of creepy because I don't, it was like in my mailbox, I think, or I don't know, like, it was, I don't know, it's not from my trainer per se, it's from her boss, and I don't know if he just like drives by putting things in people's mailboxes or what, but like, my mom, she took like an, <laughs> she walked for like an hour, so I didn't even make it to the shrine today, but nevertheless i enjoyed listening to my christmas music in my living room so then when she came back she handed me an envelope and it had a christmas card in it and inside that christmas card was a gift card so this afternoon i got a gift card 25 dollars for um champs sports so i'm gonna go redeem this and see Again, look for something Jets or Packers for myself. So I am excited for that. And then, ta -da, Sephora. Um, Uchi. <laughs> my aunt, uncle, and all my cousins, everybody. See, the good news and bad news about this is I think it is cute that when you get a gift card from Sephora, you also get a mirror. Sometimes, like, depending. I don't know. It's like one Christmas I got one and it said like tis the season to be glossy and had like a red lips on it. So they can kind of be decorative if it's like around Christmas time. But usually you just get like a generic um black ooh. Like um jeez, dropping thing. Mirror. And you know, one side usually ooh. Slightly more magnified than the other. Now as I'm looking at myself I can see a little cakiness going on here. And <laughs> so it's just like how many of these does a person need and when you're someone who's constantly asking for a gift card. So but I do think overall this is a very cute concept and if it's like someone's first time receiving a gift card from Sephora. Um, I think that is really sweet. This doesn't say the amount on here anywhere, I don't believe. So I don't know. So that in itself um, will be a surprise. But uh, truth be told, I've been like going Sephora crazy, if not for myself, then for other people. And I feel like, what on earth do I need? Like, what else could this little lady want but earlier I was thinking about getting a brush for a concealer because now that I've been like doing more makeup and like using concealers or maybe like a concealer <laughs> um 
Because Leanne, she uses, I think it's from Crown Brush. It's like this little mini baby flat top kabuki brush that she uses to like stipple on and blend in like all of her under eye concealer stuff. So I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking about a powder brush or just an extra kind of a brush. I don't know. I may not need that. I can just be dreaming. Um, but I honestly don't know. I'll have to go. Maybe I'll see like what's on sale or just anything new. But really, I mean, I feel like, what, should I get more shampoo and conditioner even though I just got some? Because I can bring it to Florida. Like the ones that I got, ooh, the ones that I just got, I could pack it to Florida so I have shampoo and conditioner down there. And then the ones that come would be my new ones. I don't know, like, uh, it's very weird for me to be like, totally confused as <laughs> to what to get um but you know I'm gonna be redeeming this like you know it and then with my ebates and everything getting like cash back and like extra goodies it's gonna be amazing I mean yeah so let's see on my ebates it is Christmas still so it is still December 25th and so far, I've made $62 back from all my shopping on Ebates. So, Coach's semi-annual sale is here. Shop select handbags, wallets, and men's bags. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, let's see. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, you know what? There's a receipt in here. I just love the face I just made. Probably says it on here. Does it say anything? Oh, tell us what you think. The winner. I should always do these surveys. You never know. I might win one. Oh, it's fifty dollars. Yay! Fifty dollars on me card. On me gift card. Okay, so now I know. Because, you know, sometimes... See, the good thing about a gift card. So, like, this one's 50 and this one is 25 So you can go online or in-store and buy a product for that amount or less and have it be almost free. There might be some, like, shipping and handling um, online. Or you can use it as, like, a coupon and, like, spend X and then know you'll get, like, 25 off or, like, 50 off. So, but with me, usually what ends up happening is I have a problem. And I'm like, oh, gift card. Oh, okay. Like, I somehow tend to go even more overboard than normal because I justify it with, like, oh, I have a gift card. So, I'm at least getting 50 off. And who cares if I spend, like, $20 million? <laughs> I'm just, I need to learn self-control. So, um, yes. But that's good that I found that. It was hidden under the tissue paper. Because I was honestly curious, like, was there anything else in this bag I didn't know? And then I just stuffed this in the baggie. This is a card from my grandparents. It says, Santa Claus didn't know what to get you for Christmas this year, so he decided to let you get your own gift. And then on the inside, it says, to be honest, the fat man's getting a little lazy. <laughs> and then, you want to know something? Bam! Mr. Benjamin. So I was thinking I can just go ahead on Chop Dixie and order earrings or a ring or something. I kind of want to get both. Um, I have the other ring of mine that's like this one with the threes. And I want to wear it on this hand and then I want the earrings. So I'll see. I have to check the prices on those. And make sure I'm looking at the US dollar amount and not the euro. No, the pound. Sorry. <laughs> um... And, and then I can just give this to my mom and be like, ta-da, here you go. I got myself a little something, something, and here you go. Like, you have an exchange. So, that's probably what I'm going to go do right now. And maybe, I don't know, it's weird. My mom went to bed at like 9 or like so really early, and I'm pretty tired myself. But yet, I'm kind of awake. It's weird. So, I'm thinking because it's, only 10 15 I might as well like do some work and put some more stuff together on YouTube and just bring I don't know just order me stuff 
I'm gonna order myself stuff online and then of course it'll probably come after Christmas but that's what I love doing I love like ordering like a boatload of stuff and then I come home from vacation and I like boxes at my door or like on my kitchen table and I'm just like yes presents yay and then it's still up in the air as if I'll see Jason Friday or not and I'm kind of highly doubting it <laughs> doubting it <laughs> doubting it but um nevertheless then when I come back it'll be like yay more presents because he texted me that I'm gonna love what he got me and I said oh yay I'm, you're gonna love what I got you so I'm gonna wrap half of it <laughs> so <laughs> um but no, obviously there's no rush I don't think so that's kind of my last final check in on Christmas and what my game plan is at 10.15 at night and oh what's one Christmas memory you'll never forget love <laughs> so I liked being Santa Claus today like I felt like Santa Claus in my little shirt sweater and it was just really fun like I was sitting on the couch at my aunt's house between my grandparents and to help them out, I had their presents like on a pile on my lap and I'm like handing one to my grandfather who's on my right. I went to my grandma who's on my left and it just like was so nice. They got a lot of stuff, a lot of nice stuff. So, <laughs> and I gave my grandma some stuff on Christmas Eve for her birthday. Um, well, she got birthday presents basically and Christmas presents and then she told me, I can't keep up with you. So just that was a lot of fun and tomorrow no idea what I'm gonna be wearing. I think I'm gonna try to like curl my hair or do something with it. Don't know about my face. Might not go all out, just like maybe I just have some little eyes and lips going and maybe a little blush. And then I did I say I don't know what I'm wearing? Because I don't. I might recycle like not this because I just wore this today, but maybe my blue one with my jeans and my boots. Uh, <laughs> my snippy sweater is going to have a pizza party tomorrow at my brother's and do presents some more. So it's going to be really, really fun seeing my nephew's reactions to everything and them playing with their gifts and more excitingly, I might add. And I've had a lot of fun testing out their gifts. But of course they're all in play mode and they're not fully unboxed and like ready to roll but I can't wait for that because then I can see everything that they do and it'll just be like a blast. So looking forward to that and um yeah so <laughs> um it's overall even though my moods were like it's been a really good day, and um, what was really, actually, really, really nice about this Christmas, it was kind of extra special in a way, and that um, I got to see my cousin who I haven't seen in like over a year or so. So that was really, 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 really nice, and just added a special little touch to my Christmas and he used up all his like vacations like you're allotted like he's allotted X amount of vacation time because he's in the Peace Corps but I think he like bunched them all together so he could be home for two weeks so that means he won't be home till like probably I don't know like when the when his job with the Peace Corps is over I don't really know much about it I guess the only way to then see him would be to fly all the way to Russia I'm going to Georgia, but nothing cute. <laughs> so anyway, I hope everyone is doing wonderful, and I hope you all got what you wanted. If you hope Santa was good to you, so <laughs> so I'm gonna go have myself a little fun on the computer, and if you want to continue and join me and stick around for some more fun, then be sure to hit the 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 be sure to hit the subscribe button down below <laughs> so you don't miss out on all the action and thank you guys so much for being here and as always until next time keep it quirky